little game called the hidden object right here. A chosen object will be placed in three scenes of Hawk News, and you are to remember the three locations of where you see the object. If you think you know, write down the answer on a slip of paper and put it in the drawing bucket at lunch in the comments. At the end of the day, we will draw a name and the winner will get a prize. And what's the prize? It's a surprise! For this week's hidden object, it is the bright orange cloth. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Day to be a Xavier Hawk. Hello, Xavier. You may or may not recognize my face, but I'm sure that you recognize my voice. I'm Derek Van Lith, and I do the afternoon announcements. Now, it is my job to pick next year's announcer, and we're going to mix it up a little bit this year by having auditions. People are going to try out and see who has what it takes to read the afternoon announcements. This is Xavier's next announcer. Welcome back to Xavier's Next Announcer. I'm here with my fellow judge, your very own Mr. Reinebo. And now, what you have all been waiting for, let's meet the contestant. Sorry, I, okay, about that. I am Neil Moniz, and I am Xavier's Next Announcer. I am Bryce Sanders, and I am Xavier's Next Announcer. I'm Katie Plank, and I'm Xavier's Next Announcer. Katie Plank, thanks for joining us today. Tell us, why should we pick you as Xavier's next announcer? You should pick me to be your next announcer because I can bring a lot of charisma to your afternoon announcements. Katie, would you please now read the announcement about the cleaning club? Cleaning club. Due to popular demand, Chu's cleaning club will meet this evening. Make sure you all have your permission slips signed as Chu will be teaching everyone how to drive the Zamboni. Why should you be the next announcer? Um, I think I should be the next announcer because I have had experience working with uh, Tyler and also with Derek um, and doing the Spirit Think Tank announcements. Bryce, would you please read the announcement about the boys swim team? Boys swim team. If you are interested in joining the boys next swim team, there will be a meeting after school in the pool. Neil, really great you could stop by today. Tell us. What qualifications do you have that would make you the best announcer at Xavier High School next year? Um, I think I have a great personality. Um, I think it'd be different to have a girl announcer for once. You know, it's always been the classic guy voice. And remember, Xavier, it's a great day to be a hawk. <laughs> Here's the deal. Mr. Reinebo and myself think that you did a wonderful job today. Next year, we would love for you to read the announcements, but here's the catch. We're going to have you read every day, and Katie Plank and Neil will join you to read the announcements with you as well. They will alternate days. How does, how does that sound? Yes, 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 oh yes. Yes, I can't believe I knew I'd win. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You will not regret this. Well, there you have it, Xavier. Your three new announcers for next year. We hope that you enjoyed watching, and we also hope that you tune in next year.
YMCA in Appleton. JD's Family Restaurant. Employee Spirit After School. Victoria's Secret. Bertram Dental Lab. Mary's Family Restaurant. Darling Love! Airy. Fox City's Racket Club. This is Jared. I make minimum wage seven twenty-five an hour. I make twenty-five cents above minimum wage. My tasks are to greet people when they come in and tell them the sales, and to organize the brown wall in the back. I answer the phone. I organize the court sheets, I clean up people's messes, and whenever someone's injured, they usually come to me for a band-aid or some ice or moist towel lad or something. I've been working at Aerie um, for one to two hour shifts so far, and it's going okay. I've gotten um, some complaints and some yelling at by the managers, but it's a job, so. <laughs> I've worked there since last August, so over a year and a half about. Summer is just around the corner, Xavier. So start looking, fill out applications, and find the perfect job for you. I'm here with Andrew and Paige uh, talking about this year's track season. What is your guys' favorite part about this season? Uh, mine would have to be Dane and his smile every single day. Mine is definitely Coach Campbell. Also, where is your favorite place to run? Mine is Kimberly because it's a big venue and there's a lot of people there to watch us. Mine is at Little Shoot because that's my hometown. <laughs> All played their best and it was actually really great to see everyone for the first time this season. And who are your guys' top prospects this year? Pretty sure our whole team. Honestly, everyone. <laughs> they all look really good. We have a huge amount of sophomores, um, a few really great frosh, got the juniors, and then just a few seniors. So. Seniors are great this year, too. So. <laughs> We're doing good. Hi, hey guys. I'm here with Nicole, interviewing for this year's 2011 soccer season. Nicole, what is your expectation for this year? Um, this year I hope to make it back to state and we better beat Catholic Memorial. Also, uh, where is your favorite place to play? My favorite place to play is at the Xavier Field underneath the lights. Hey, I'm here with Cam and Justin. Uh, this year's 2011 tennis season. Cam, where is your favorite place to play? Uh, Clintonville, because they're really bad. <laughs> All right, Justin, where's your favorite place to play? I have to say, color, because the courts are red. Nice, nice. Uh, what, are your, what, what kind of racket are you guys rocking this year? I play with uh, Prince, because I am one. I play with uh, Wilson from like 2001. I like the volleyball and cast away. here with the Xavier boys golf team and uh, I hear you guys have a pretty rowdy crowd that comes to your meets. How many times has your team been to state? Four. I'm here with Jacob and Andrew and um, they're with the boys baseball varsity of course. Um, how are you guys uh, gonna do this year? Um, I think we should do pretty good once we get Andy back. Um, everyone else is coming along pretty good. Alright, how do you guys feel you're going to do this season? Good. Andy says good. Jared, and I'm here with Jan and Tess. We're going to sing the pets right now. Yeah. What kind of pet do you have? Um, my family has two guinea pigs, but I really don't like them. Understandable. And you? I have four dogs. Four dogs? <laughs> that must be a lot of food. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, I'm Bryce. Um, I have a cat named Burgo. It's kind of on the heavy side. 
One of my favorite memories of the buttercup was this one time when I was eating an ice cream cone and she ate the ice cream cone too. <laughs> and I have a parrot here named Fuzzy. Um, Fuzzy's like eternal, it's supposed to live for like three years, and now it's on like, I think year 13. So our whole family has like bets on when it's gonna die. Hi, I'm Jeremiah. I have two dogs, Ty and Rue. And my favorite memory is when we go on walks together. I have a parakeet named Sammy, and favorite memory of it is listening to it chirp every morning when I'm eating my breakfast. My name is Max Mashurik, and my pet is Rudy. Um, she is a schnoodle, which, so it's a mini schnauzer poodle mix, and uh, my favorite thing about her would have to be the way she's always ready to play. <laughs> it's on, it's recording, folks. Let's go. I don't have any pets. Okay, so this is Richie. Why don't we go? Why don't we go sit down? And this one, as you can see, is his favorite. It's a stuffing-free box with squeakers on both ends. Uh, due to the fact that Richie's teeth have fallen out of his mouth, we've had to switch to a softer treat. We chose the T-Bones filet mignon flavor. Richie really seems to like them. He knows one trick. And he just, he just did it. He sits down. If I don't give him the treat right away, he sits down. Good boy. You wanna go for a walk? Richie, hey. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? <laughs>